Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm going to go over how to create LinkedIn dynamic ads. So first I'm going to show you some examples of them, and then we're going to go into Campaign Manager and build a campaign out. So let's jump into it. So what are LinkedIn dynamic ads? They're ads that are personalized to the user you're targeting. So if you have an overall audience, when your ads show, you can have the ability to show certain things like the user's first or last name, their company in the ad itself. So here's an example of the different macros that are supported for dynamic ads. So there's follower ads, which I'll show examples of, spotlight ads, and job ad ads. Those are the three types of dynamic ads. And you can use these different macros in your ad text and it will pull in the user's information into the ad. So you can see here, they're using the first name macro and it says, hey Sam, join us at Fixed Dex Data Summit. So that's an example there. Now to go into the, the format and the objectives that are available, the objectives in LinkedIn help optimize your campaigns for a certain goal. So for example, if you select the brand awareness objective, it's gonna optimize for reach and impressions. Whereas if you select the website visits objective, it's gonna optimize to try to get users to click the ad and visit your website. This is the most common objective used in LinkedIn ads. And in the example I'm gonna go through, we're gonna create a spotlight ad with the website visits objective. So again, these are the different uh, dynamic ad formats. And then you can see which objectives uh, that that ad format is under. So for spotlight, you can choose a brand awareness, website visits, talent leads, website conversions, and job applicants. And again, we have followers, spotlight, single job, and jobs. So some real life examples of those. Um, I'm on my profile here and you can see here, there's a dynamic ad retargeting me because I did visit this company's website. So it has my profile image, it has my first name here, and this is an example of a spotlight ad. Another example of a follower ad is here. So the call to action is follow, and if I click that, I'll start following this LinkedIn page. And it has my profile image and also my first name here. So again, you can use those macros that we took a look at and incorporate them in your ads to make them dynamic and personalized. And then here's an example of a job um, ad. Uh, you can see the user's profile image here, their first name, and then the available job opportunities here. Um, again, you can do it with uh, the spotlight ad format as well, showing the profile image there. And here's just another example of a, a job ad, and that is a spotlight ad. Now we're gonna go into the campaign manager and create a spotlight ad, which is a dynamic ad. So I'll go into campaign manager, and I'm on the advertise section, and I'm gonna go to the create under campaign groups and create a campaign group. And for this example, we're just gonna call this spotlight ad. And then I'm gonna turn off the group objectives. We'll set up the objective at the campaign level. So I'll go to click create, and then we'll click into that campaign group and we'll go ahead and click create campaign. And then we'll click next. And then we'll call this spotlight ad. And for our objective, we're gonna choose website visits. And then we're going to scroll down first and you can see here the ad format. So this is where you choose the dynamic ads. So for website visits, we can choose the spotlight ad format, which is a dynamic ad format. And we'll click that. And then we'll go back up to the audience section. So the audience section, after you select your objective, this is where you create your audience. And you can use this for um, prospecting or retargeting. So first off, we're going to set our location to, in this example, United States and we'll, we'll set it to permanent location. I always recommend using that. And then we're gonna narrow down our audience. If you're gonna do retargeting, you can go to the audience section, go to retargeting, and select your retargeting audience if you have those set up. I have some videos on that about setting up retargeting audiences. And if you're gonna do prospecting, finding new users that might not be familiar with your brand, you can use LinkedIn's native attributes to target users. So for example, you can select company and you can choose the company size. And let's say we want to target companies with employees between 11 to 50 employees and we'll click close and then we'll click narrow to further refine that audience. And we'll go into the company again and we'll go into company industries. And for this example, we'll just select financial services and we'll click And an important example here. You want to make sure this says and in this case, because we want companies in this size and they must also be in financial services. So we see our target audience narrow down there and then we'll narrow it more and we'll go into audience attributes and we'll select some job titles that are relevant to our persona. So maybe we're looking for sales managers 
um, in this use case. So we'll select sales managers. And then again, we want to make sure this is and. So we'll select and sales managers. And then it brings the audience size of under 10,000, which I usually recommend trying to get above 10,000. And uh, LinkedIn will recommend at least 50,000. But you can test different audience sizes. So for this example, I'll just leave that as is. We'll keep enable audience expansion off. And then we already have our ad format selected for Spotlight. And then we'll keep the audience network isn't available for Spotlight ads anyway, so we'll, that won't be on, um, which is good. And then we'll select a daily budget of $10 per day, which is the minimum amount that you can select. And then we'll optimize for landing page clicks. And we'll keep the manual bidding at $5.10, which is on the lower end of the range for now. And then if you have conversion tracking set up, you can select the relevant conversions and then you'll click next and save. And then we'll click create new ad. And then for spotlight ads, you can add a background image if you like. In this example, we'll just type in um, a headline here and we'll use the dynamic uh, macro attributes. So we'll say first time, learn more about marketing. So this is just an example, obviously here, we'll add an image. So you can see it, it took the macro here and it uses the user's profile name. So it says, Jane, learn more about marketing. And then we'll put in a description. Just as an example, the description shows at the top, you have your image here, and then we'll select use profile image. It shows the user's profile image. It shows their first name because we use that macro. And I'll put a link to the macros um, in the description below here so you can copy those. And then we'll choose a call to action. So I'll say learn more and it has to be within 18 characters. And then we'll select our destination. And then that's how you create a spotlight ad. So the, the process of this is very similar if you're creating a follower ad and if you're also creating a, a job ad. I have some examples of creating spotlight ads and follower ads and I'll put those above as well just for more in-depth reference to those. So um, that's how you create dynamic ads in LinkedIn. If you have any questions on that, or if there's anything confusing about that, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you out there. So thanks for watching and have a great day.